everybody, welcome to the Let's Fix Stuff Solution Podcast Series. I'm your host, Patrick Kolbeck. In this Solution Podcast, we're going to address election integrity. This is Build 2.0 of our Election Integrity Solution Podcast Series. Build 1.0 was released in August of 2020. This particular version builds on insights gained from that fun little 2020 general election. We have a lot to unpack on this topic of election integrity. I've been studying this topic for the better part of 10 years as a candidate, a two-term state senator, and later as a poll challenger. In support of the assertions that I make in this podcast, I have served as vice chair of the Michigan Senate Elections and Government Reform Committee. I took that post very seriously and diligently studied all of our election manuals. I applied tools such as process mapping and failure modes and effects analyses learned during my aerospace engineering years to the subject of elections. I then proceeded to coordinate and validate all my findings with experts, such as Catherine Engelbrecht with True the Vote. And in support of the technical observations that I make in this podcast, people should know that I'm a certified Microsoft Small Business Specialist and was responsible for the cabling design of the Quest airlock module on the International Space Station. In other words, I'm not only familiar with the latest in election processes, I'm also experienced with the information technology used in these processes. Links to information referenced are in this podcast, including the analysis of the solutions posed in the conclusion section, are available at uh, letsfixstuff.org. I believe that this podcast on election integrity will be invaluable to anybody truly interested in preserving the integrity of our elections. So let's get started. As in previous solution podcasts, this presentation is structured to follow my tried and true engineering trade study analysis approach. First, we frame the problem we are trying to solve. Then we'll provide background information useful in understanding the problem a little bit better and useful in evaluating the effectiveness of potential solutions to these problems. With this background information in hand, we then go on to define specific objectives that can be used to evaluate and rank any solutions that we propose. Then we provide a list of potential solutions. And then these solutions are analyzed and ranked in our conclusion section. Why all this structure? Well, Unlike most of the approaches taken by our elected officials, I want to be as transparent as possible as to how I arrive at the conclusions that I make. In addition to all the information provided in this structured podcast, you can also download my notes and analysis spreadsheet at letsfixstuff.org. 